Hello booktube and welcome to my May book haul. When I was uh, logging in my books from April's book haul, I realized I had 783 books, 17 away from 800. I won't be hitting 800 this month. Um, I only have 12 books to haul and that will bring the total up to 795. So I will be hitting 800 in with June's haul. Um, so of the 12 books I'll be showing you here in a few seconds, um, 11 of them are works of history, and the Vanguard book, the first book I show in a book haul, is a work of poetry, and that is The End of Everything by Matt Wall, um, Booktube's own paperback junkie. This is a collection of his poetry that he wrote, um, about a year or so ago. And he's been running a giveaway of, um, I think it was three or four copies um, in April. And I was uh, one of the lucky recipients. And I've dipped into the end of everything, um, particularly um, the first poem of Paris and um, The Greater Sin. And I quite like The Greater Sin. Um, and it packed quite a punch at the end, I thought. Um, and I'm planning on reading the whole collection um, either later this week or definitely on Monday, um, my reading schedule permitting. So I'm quite looking forward to getting to the end of everything and thank you, Matt, for uh, sending me the end of everything. Uh, next up, and the first book of history that I'll be showing is The Enlightenment. The Pursuit of Happiness, 17, uh, 1680 to 1790 by Richie Robertson. Um, this is the first book I actually got this month. And I'd originally planned on picking this up in February when it was released, but events intervened. And I finally decided to go ahead and pick it up in May when I saw that the price was pretty good. So I'm quite happy to have it and I'm looking forward to reading it at some point in the not too distant future. Next up is from a book depository and that is um, The Fall of the Ottomans, The Great War in the Middle East, 1914 to 1920 by Eugene Rogan. Um, I wanted this book for a while. It's been on my book depository wish list for ages. And I finally decided to jump on it um, this month and quite happy. I'm looking forward to getting to it. I have a bit of an interest in, or I do have an interest in Ottoman history, and I would like to expand that. And def I think this book will definitely fit the bill, and I cannot wait to get to it. Also, it will help to fill the second to the last shelf on not this bookcase here but the one that it's on top of um, these two bookcases that I have on top of each other are not um, the bookshelves aren't equally spaced so if I were doing things alphabetically which I'm not um, some of the books would have to be on their side to fit which kind of annoys me which is sort of one of the reasons why Last month when I mentioned wanting to rearrange or move uh, Jin Yong from J to C to reflect his, ac um, his actual name, uh, Louis Cha, I was going to move it to another bookcase because I would have the on its side, which it is currently, until I get some books to move it on. But anyway, getting back to point, um, so the second to last shelf is pretty much too small for hardbacks except for the very smallest of hardbacks and so that one is mostly for paperbacks and then the bottom shelf is mostly for hardbacks and bigger trade paperbacks and so far the bottom shelf actually has more books than the or has used up more space than the second to last shelf so I need to try to fill that uh, shelf up before I get to this shelf here, which is going to be History 2, or History 3, I guess. Um, I would like to 
fill both of the last two shelves on the one under this bookcase here before I get to that one, but I doubt that's going to happen as we will see here in a few minutes. Anyway, so um, I bought three books from Alibris, which is cause for another mini digression. Um, so with Alibris, Alibris is a sort of a group um, basically, Alibris provides a, I guess, um, a number of vendors you know, use their service. Um, and so uh, three of the of my go-to um, booksellers on Alibris are um, Discover, Hippo, and Owls. And they're really cheap. I mean, usually not more than $5. A book unless it's really really good quality um and so i bought three books uh two from owls one from discover and so the um shipping and handling would be three dollars uh per um seller and then 2.99 if you're uh buying a second book with the same or more books with the same seller. So what ended up happening is, is that one of the books from Owls, because I think this one I got two from, shipped by itself. And then the one from Discover and the other one from Owls shipped together. And I'm like, okay, so are you actually the same company or just share the same warehouse or what is going on here? Because like, that kind of weirded me out. And it's been bugging me ever since but anyway so moving in descending order of time uh, the most recent first and then uh, historically the most recent and then um, the most ancient last um, the first book I picked up is um, the Chinese in America by Iris Chang uh, this is a book about um, Chinese immigration into America and the Chinese experience in America and this is a book that I've wanted for quite a while and I finally decided to jump on it and I'm quite happy to for it and I'm looking forward to reading it uh, the next book is she wolves the women who ruled England before Elizabeth by Helen Castor um, this uh, I've had an interest in royalty and British royalty for a while, and I've been looking forward to um, getting um, biographies of uh, queens and books on queens. Um, another book I'm really wanting is The Last Medieval Queens by J. O. Lane Smith. I really want that book, but I have never found a copy that is inexpensive enough to buy. Maybe one of these days, but anyway. But um, I'm quite looking forward to this book. It includes uh, material on um, Isabella, Edward II's queen, as well as Mary I, um, Jane Grey, and Matilda, and others. Uh, next up is a biography of a queen, an Egyptian queen. Um, the last Egyptian queen, the last Ptolemaic ruler of Egypt. Uh, this is Cleopatra the Great by uh, Joanne Fletcher. I know a lot of um, uh, booktubers, um, when they've um, talked about biographies of Cleopatra, have extolled um, Stacey Schiff's biography. Um, and I read it a few years ago and mm, I didn't quite like it at the time. I'm going to have another go at it, either by buying it or checking it out from the library, assuming the library still has a copy. Um, but I didn't quite get on with the book. I don't know if it's necessarily the cover, which I didn't really like, or the fact that Stacey Schiff's earlier book was on the um, Salem Witch Trials, which kind of made me wonder about how much research she did or how much original research she did 
but you know I'll give it another, another go at one point but anyway back to Cleopatra the Great um, this is by Joanna Fletcher, who also wrote the story of Egypt, which I really enjoyed. And I've been looking forward to um, picking this up for quite a while, and I'm quite happy to have it. Uh, and since these are all three ex library books, I normally will tell you where they came from. So the Chinese in America came from Webster Public Library. Uh, the she wolves came from San Mateo, and Cleopatra came from uh, Brooklyn Public Library. Uh, so next up is the only pre-order I picked up this month. Um, I had two that I did cancel, and they might pop up later. But the one that I did decide to keep um, was Sunny Days. The Children's Television Revolution That Changed America by David Camp. Um, this is a history of uh, children's television, <clears throat> and namely um, the children's television on PBS, I think. And I'm quite looking forward to this. I have wanted it ever since um, Steve Donahue hauled it um, over a year ago as a hardcover. And... It took all my willpower not to go ahead and hop on it as a hardback, but anyway, I finally got it, and I am definitely looking forward to getting to Sunny Days. Uh, sticking with the theme of children, um, the next book is another book on a history of children, um, and it is also part of a recent book haul from Princeton, uh, Princeton University Press. I've recently really gotten into um, university university presses and buying from them, particularly when they have really good sales on. And uh, the past month or so, Princeton's had a sale on. Um, the Organization of American Historians, I think, has had a convention. And uh, Princeton University Press, I guess they do a sort of book presentation or a uh, during the convention, and they had an attending sale for those books, and I got the uh, um, coupon code. I like to do the email, and I downloaded the catalog of the books that they had on sale, and there were quite a few that interest me, and I decided to pick up four. And so the first one is The End of American Childhood, A History of Parenting from Life on the Frontier to the Managed Child by Paula S. Fass. I'm quite, look, quite looking forward to getting to this. Um, uh, next up is Building an American Empire, The Era of Territorial and Political Expansion by Paul Freimer. Um, I'm looking forward to this. And in keeping with the same subject, uh, American Empire, A Global History by A.G. Hopkins. Um, this is a big history of um, the United States as an empire. I'm quite looking forward to getting to this. Um... Next, I've been moving away from American history and the last book from uh, Princeton University Press, at least for now, I fully intend to pick up more books from them, is uh, Republics of the New World, The Revolutionary Political Experiment in 19th Century Latin America by Hilda Sabato. Which I'm quite looking forward to. And finally, the last book of May. And one of the biggest, well, I mean, there's been three big books uh, this month, um, is um, The Age of Decadence, A History of Britain, 1880 to 1914 by Simon Heffer. Um, Steve Donahue recently hauled this, and he also recently uh, wrote a review of it, and I immediately wanted it. I just, I had to have it, and 
I waited a little bit and Amazon ended up not having a copy in stock and then eventually did and I jumped on it once it came into stock and that's a bit of an adventure in it on its own um, so ordinarily with Amazon um, they have the books in their warehouse and they'll pick it up and it'll go through their system before eventually getting to the post office but this time I'm assuming Amazon didn't actually have this in stock so they went to Ingram who is a book wholesaler I think they supplied the bookstores because when I've ordered stuff from book people they've often um, if the books aren't in stock at the store in Austin they will um, order it through Ingram and Ingram will ship it. Uh, I don't remember if I think with them they put it through the mail too which is what happened here was Ingram sent this through the mail because um, book people I think Alibris uses um, Alibris itself um, and University of Princeton Press also uses um, Ingram and so this went through the US Postal Service so it's been a few days at the regional distribution center in Tennessee and then somehow did a magic leap straight to me and I get kind of completely avoided um, the Dallas uh, regional facility and um, even like the one that's local so I'm like that was quite fun because I was supposed to get this today or the original sort of estimation was today but I actually got it on Saturday and I'm quite happy and I'm looking forward to reading this and also working out with it because it is quite heavy particularly if you're holding it like this this not so much but anyway so that was my May book haul um, I'm pretty sure I will once I catalog everybody in I will be at 795 and I will then go and put them up uh, let's see if I can do a Steve pyramid without hurting myself too much so my plans for June is I have a one book on pre-order that I'll be getting in June 1st and I'm thinking uh, there's another book I'm wanting that also comes out on June 1st then I might go ahead and pre-order um, <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, I'm also wanting to go to Golden's Book Exchange um, Golden's is a used bookstore in um, Waco that I one of my go to used bookstores that I physically go to and I haven't been since August of 2019 um, I had been planning on going April of 2020 but obviously the pandemic um, stopped me and every other month on even months they have a half off sale which is absolutely glorious and I'm really wanting to go so hopefully I'll be able to go to Golden's and if I do and depending how the haul is I might do the Golden's haul on its own because usually I do have a pretty good size haul and for not a whole lot of money and then I also want to do another um, haul with uh, University of Chicago because there's a few more books from uh, the big um, sale catalog that I want so we shall see how things go but anyway for now I'm going to sign off with the um, Steve pyramid <laughs> oh. oh that was fun so anyway book two Ugh. now I have to go and organize them alphabetically so I can put them in my catalog and then put them on the shelves which won't be that much of a hurdle um I don't organize my history books alphabetically nor my poetry 
and there's not much poetry. I'm working on correcting that. But anyway, booktube, tomorrow will be at least uh, one, if not two, uh, tag videos. I'm hoping to get a writing video up on Wednesday. Not sure about Thursday, and of course, Friday will be uh, weekly reads. So until tomorrow, booktube, thank you, have a great afternoon, and stay safe.